Hi, I'm Sandra and I'm here to share my love of my garden. I prefer a non-gardening garden because I rarely water plants in the ground. I'm a great believer that if it can't survive, it shouldn't be there in the first place. My little patch of green started off as a safe haven for my children. To play when they were younger, now it's my little patch of paradise. My retreat from the world around me. I remember discovering a wasp nest in my garden and when all the wasps had gone, the nest were the size of a football. Wasps have had a bad press, but they're excellent to have around to eat garden pests. But I have to encourage them to leave before I swap them out of existence if they come anywhere near the house. I've just got some new binoculars. I like to keep an eye on the passing wildlife especially in the winter when I can't get out into my garden. And I'm pleased to say that my daughters appear to have inherited my love of natural things too, despite the wasps. One now works for groundwork. My own garden reminds me of my own childhood. The same plants, the same smells. In summer, my garden becomes a natural extension to my home. Nothing is particularly ordered. This year, with bees nesting in an unused bird box. I'm particularly pleased about them. Plenty of frogs, the odd fox, and three holly bushes that I certainly didn't plant, so I have no idea which passing visitor dropped the seeds. I love the colours in my garden. Everything in balance. And nature can supply the most gorgeous sunset to set it all off. I appear to grow a huge variety of plants, but I rarely buy new bedding plants. They're often bred for their colour, and they don't contain pollen for my bees. I prefer it when I'm given plants, and then I can share them with others. I also grow things from seed, particularly my herbs. They come back year after year. Some people like a nice tidy garden, but I know that my plants will grow back if left to their own devices. Most plants are perennial. Leave them alone as ground cover for the birds and insects and they'll grow back again. I was given saplings of oak, willow and even a Judas tree and I've grown them since they were small and now they're established. I bet you didn't know that an oak tree can support about 500 species. I don't have a pond but I do have a buried fish tank. You never know what's lurking beneath the surface in there. Elsewhere, the wildflowers intermingle with the roses, the cornflowers and the phlox, and I've even got a fairy ring of fungi. I have all sorts of unusual stuff in my garden. There's my homemade recycled wooden furniture, and I never waste natural stuff. I have an accumulating wood pile, and then there's my compost bin. On a good week, I put virtually nothing in my domestic waste. If it's not in the compost, it goes for recycling because we've all got to do our bit. I don't feed the birds in summer, but they love my compost bin because it's full of worms and they love worms. But beware of putting tea bags on your compost heap. Tear the tea bag in half and throw the bag in the food waste and the leaves in your compost as the bags don't break down. And remember, you only need to step outside your own door to appreciate what's around you. Not all things that buzz have a sting.